Welcome back. IBM unveiling its new Nighthawk quantum processor, one of the fastest computers in the world. Fox Business's Lauren Simonetti got an inside look at IBM's lab and the new technology that goes with it. Watch this. This giant machine is a quantum computer. You can see it looks nothing like a regular computer or a classical computer, but it is being used to develop medicines, build better batteries, and even increase your financial performance. You can think of it as kind of like a, a new computational tool that you didn't have before that can solve problems that you couldn't solve before. It is like sci-fi come to life. Scott Crowder leads IBM's work in quantum technology. He helped develop its most powerful processor yet. I know what I'm holding is important because I had to put gloves on. What is this? Uh, this is our new uh, quantum chip or quantum processor called Nighthawk. It's about 30% more efficient than our previous generation. It's housed in what looks like a giant refrigerator. How cold is it getting there? Uh, so it gets 15 millikelvin, one of the coldest places in the universe. Like colder than outer space? Like a thousand times colder than outer space. And inside? What looks like a golden chandelier is actually the workhorse of the operation, sending signals to the powerful quantum chip located at the bottom where it's icy cold. The system is often linked to artificial intelligence, but AI teaches machines how to think. Quantum computing gives them a new way to think. Quantum computing will probably help AI become more accurate in, in the future but it's not replacing AI. Companies are already using IBM's technology. Boeing for more durable planes, Moderna, more effective vaccines, and HSBC, better trading outcomes. Right now, the most advanced quantum computers on the planet are built by people in the United States, but China's making very, very large investments in this space. The U.S. is widely expected to deploy our quantum arsenal by the end of the decade. In Yorktown Heights, New York, Lawrence Simonetti, Fox Business. All right, Lauren, thank you for that.